Now we have a fraction, okay? Not a big deal, guys. We know how to handle it. Area is equal to one half based on time. Over here, we have the height of our rectangle, or of the height of our triangle. And here we have the base. Now, it could be, you know, you could have said, oh, one's the height, one's the base, but either way, we know those are the two measurements we want. We don't want this length. Even if they gave it to us, we don't want to use that. That's not our base or our height. So A is going to be equal to one half times my base, which is seven and two thirds, and my height, which is four. Now, again, we could take one half of four and then work it out, or we could do half of this amount and work four. It's really, again, up to you. Now, I know one half of four very quickly, so I'm going to go ahead and work it out in that work. So I'm going to do one half of four. So area is equal one half of four times two. Then seven and two thirds is what I have left over to multiply. Now, again, you could do one half times seven and two thirds and then multiply that by four. Um, in this case, I want to go ahead and just do one half of four because I know that off the top of my head. Sorry, this is one. No, no, you weren't right So then half of four is two. Now I need to multiply this over here. Don't just do two times seven and say it's 14 and two thirds. We need to look at it as two improper fractions or even just as two fractions. Two is the same thing as two over one. And then over here, we need to convert this to an improper fraction. Some of us call it the Texas method. Some of us call it, you know, just converting to an improper fraction. I do 3 times 7, which gets me 21, and 21 plus 2. So I work that out. Let me go ahead and move this down. Area is equal to. This will have enough space. Area is equal to 2 over 1 times, then I have 23 over 3. So now we're going to go ahead and work it all the way through. I can't cross simplify in this situation, so I'm just going to multiply this right across. I do 23 times 2, we get 46. 1 times 3 gets me 3. So now I need to convert this back to an improper fraction. So I see, well, how many times can 3 go into 46? Well, it goes into 4 one whole time. And 16, well, the most number of times it can go in is 5. And I'm going to stop there because now I have my whole number. And I have 1 left over with my 3 as my denominator. So 15 and one third inches, and its area is so inches squared. So the area of this rectangle, or I'm sorry, the area of this triangle is 15 and one third inches squared. Now, we have some problems where they'll give us some of the information, but then uh, we need to find out what's missing. Okay, so for example, Renee is sewing a quilt whose pattern contains right triangles. Now, a right triangle looks just like this. Just like uh, example number two, it has a right angle inside of it. It's not perfect, but we'll deal with it. Each quilt piece has a height of six inches and an area of 24 inches square. How long is the base of each quilt piece? So I know the height is six inches. Uh, I don't know the base. The base is what's missing. But I know the area is 24 inches square. So it's kind of like we're working backwards. We got to do a little bit of problem solving and figure out our answer. <clears throat> so I know area is equal to one half base times height. So we're going to go ahead and plug in what we know. I know that the area is 24. So I'm going to plug in 24 for my area. One half stays there. I don't know the base. Base is what's missing. The height is six. So 24 is equal to 1 half times the base times 6. Now remember, I can do this out of order. Commutative property, if you remember our properties, commutative property of multiplication says I can multiply in any order. Okay, it's, we're good to go. So I'm going to multiply 1 half times 6. Half of 6 will get me 3 times the base is equal to 24. And guys, this is just like one of our equation problems. Okay, 24 is equal to 3b. 
Remember, goal of an equation is to get B by itself. So I divide both sides by 3. Divide by 3, divide by 3. That way I get base by itself. 24 divided by 3 is going to get me 8. So the base is 8. So I look and see if I answer my question, and I did. How long is the base of each quilt piece? The length is 8. Enjoy.